Hey guys, it's Fort 7 here. Welcome back. We're gonna do. We're gonna jump out and uh, go to the airport. So. Ooh. Zero fall damage in any suit? Nope. Or, yes, rather, I should say. No fall damage. Is that for all It is, yes. I like now that it. We have intelligence on the institute, hey, buddy. Oh, Helen and Dance. You. Come here. I need you to carry a bunch of this shit. Because, you know, reasons. Wow. Yes, I can. Later. Something. Damn it. All right. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Hold up. Is that what I'm doing right now? I mean, I found the right person, obviously. So, I bet you're eager to get your hands dirty on our new project. How much has Maxon told you about it? Dude! Uh, that it's important? Well, he seems to feel it's pretty important. Important is an understatement. We're pouring every resource we have into this thing. I hope it's worth it. Come on. It's this way. Not sure blind as a bat, and I'm sure Sweet. that we've been building a gantry in its harm. Max and yeah. Kel's have been looking for something that will tip the balance when we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Institute. Now the Pridwin might be a big beast, but she's not built for fighting. That's where our new okay. comes in. I may not be able to go with the Minutemen in the upcoming quests because I can't get um nice. I can't get Preston to give me any other quest besides radiant quests. Fortunately, Liberty Prime was destroyed in the line of duty. Yeah, we know. part of the last few years piecing him back together. And if you think that was easy, try rebuilding a protectron while you're blindfolded. In order to get Liberty Prime fully operational, we're going to need your help. My help? I, help. I don't know a thing about robot repair. Why don't we leave the repairing to my scribes? <clears throat> You're going to be doing the legwork. Now, the good news sure. is that we've got most of Prime's parts fully assembled. The bad news is that it's going to take more than a few rivets and some spot welding to get them working again. And the first problem mm -hmm. is his CPU. It's fragile. Every time we try to feed power to it, it blows itself out. Um, power problems? Why is the power blowing out his CPU? Liberty Prime has a highly complex power system. A good deal of that system was damaged when he exploded. So I'm working in the dark trying to come up mm -hmm. with parts on my own. Luckily, you were able to convince Dr. Madison Lee to return to the Brotherhood. She was on the original build team for Liberty Prime a little over a decade ago. I've already spoken Sweet. to her, but she's reluctant to work on Prime for some reason. If you could get her down here to lend a hand with his power system, we can get the big guy moving. Oh. Okay. Um. Let's not do that right now, and instead... Not exactly, no. I'm taking everything back. And we're gonna actually go to one of the sh shops. That'll work. A series of shops, actually. I need more fusion cores. Oh, for the sake need. I want more fusion cores. And um We're going to uh, 
go. Ugh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Not a big deal. It's moderately arbitrary. It's kind of neat. The, the, like the way that, that the new Power Fist looks. It's very cool. I like it a lot. To keep your load light, we can shoot the breeze about the old fashioned pistol or anything else you need. What's up, man? Feel free to test the grid. Me and Arturo on a first name basis. <laughs> I guess. Cannonballs. Give me all your fusion cores. And your missiles and shotgun shells. That's cool. Okay. Now let us begin the selling of all the arbitrary bits and bobs that I do not actually require. So long, all of those. Nope. Oh yeah, I needed to fuck around with those, see what's see if it's better than what I have or not. Nope, nope, nope. Uh huh. Fuck, I need to go drop that off. It's ways a lot. <laughs> Polymer. Blah blah blah. blah. You know what? Is there anything in here that I actually need? No. That's fair enough, I guess. Oh yeah, I can tell all this. I don't need any of this. Yeah. That'll be fine. I'm okay with dropping some, some dough there. 132. Now. I'm go drop off the copper. By the way. Sanctuary Hills. Is this where I've done it in the past? But this is where I have my copper duplication set up. And uh, I'll kind of show you how it works really quickly. Yeah, see, this was a three story building and I tore it down. Except for the generator, the tables and chairs, and of course, I, I, I went ahead and left the outhouse because I figured that would be, you know, beneficial for for them. Yeah. Nice. 600. So here's where... Just to show you how this works. It's really neat, actually. Let's get all of this put in. Except for my shipment of copper. Eh, I can just keep the copper. That'll be fine. Put all of this away. So we have pretty much just our copper. Now, right here is where all of our copper is stored. So all we have in our, in our inventory is copper, as far as junk, anyway. Now let's do a quick save here. Now this is kind of a neat little process. So you go into transfer, you press Y to store it all, and then X immediately thereafter. And ninety-eight copper. Well, not as much as it should be, but it's okay. Right? Because what happens is as you're doing it, you know, the number increases. And 
And then... It's a little show of that. So, like, we're at 473 now. We started at 73. You can build it up relatively quickly the more copper shipments you have active. And then... Uh, with that, of course, I'm going to actually run out of the copper at the present because I, I, I don't actually have that much. But with the copper, <coughs> you then go into build mode. Um, it's under decorations, statues, and you just build bajillions of statues. And what that does for you, naturally, is huge amounts of XP. Which is spectacular. One thing I don't really like about this, though, one is... You, let's say that you actually built a statue out of copper. If you actually broke that statue down, you would get the motherfucker. Stop it. Get out of here. Dude. You would get the same amount of copper that you put into it. I know this. <laughs> you can't. It's not you lose 8 copper out of 10. It's 20% return. Like, that's completely insane. I think someone should mod that. At any rate, we leveled up, so let's go ahead and take care of that. I've been working towards getting my agility all the way up, because right now the only, I've, I've maxed out strength, endurance, and intelligence. And right now we're working towards uh, agility. Honestly, has a little bit to do with the with some of the stuff you get down here. Gun gu, gun foo is freaking insane. Do 50 percent more damage to third target and beyond. Instantly do a critical against a fourth target and beyond. So it's very very beneficial when you're fighting many different enemies. Gun foo is just amazing. Ugh. But. I'm also kind of wanting to get critical banker, so. But right now we're, we're I'm working on getting my agility up so I can have the maximum amount of bats that I can, that I can get. Yeah. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are actually out of time. So uh, got to got to show you the very interesting exploit for experience points grinding. Which is very uh, beneficial. I, I've, I, from what I understand, if you were to do that in a somewhat continuous fashion for about 12 hours, you would reach maximum level uh, within that time frame. Now it's, you know, <laughs> it's tedious and time consuming, and I don't think I could do it for 12 hours straight, which is why I kind of go on and off where, where I'll do a, whole, a bunch of it at, at once for maybe a few hours here and there and then I'll uh, well maybe not a few hours but I'll do a couple of sets of, of statue building and then go do other things anyway until next time guys, Balmatuna we'll see you next video